Hai, apa khabar semua? Selamat datang ke channel Kuat Cinema. Welcome. <laughs> See you again. See you again in this channel. How are you? How are you? I hope you are very good in a very good condition. Right? 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 <laughs> okay. So, in the Malaysia, we are now a very happy day because um, in this 10th of um, July, June, in the 10th of June, we will get to cross other states. So, we will not uh, only uh, stay at home because of these uh, MCO movement control order so it's been a lift, lift a bit so we can go to other places <laughs> because uh, yeah we are in the recovery condition recovery state right so congratulations congrat congratulations to Malaysia <laughs> to all Malaysian tanya kan okay <laughs> tanya kepada seluruh rakyat Malaysia kerana telah berjaya uh, sampai ke tahap pemulihan ni kan so yeah Congratulations to you because uh, Malaysia, because we have been uh, in the recovery uh, level now, right? So hopefully we can uh, improve this condition further until the vaccines uh, come in now. Uh, so we can go uh, do other social activities, right? <laughs> okay. Because there is a lot of social activities that we cannot do like uh, mass gathering, and um, religious group activities so yeah all right so today we will do these uh city skylines um, guide video yes <laughs> so another guide video because uh, i think that uh, this is will be uh, useful um yeah thank you for those who are watching my uh, guide video especially uh um, Yes, Fahim Ridwan. Thank you very much for your support to my channel and your, for your great comment <laughs> in the last videos and also others as well. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Masin Gaming, terima kasih banyak-banyak. Block C Village, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, others, Mr. X Gaming, always, always love you. <laughs> thank you very much. And... Jamaluddin Saad, Jamaluddin Saad, terima kasih. Uh, Fahim, Fahmi Ami, Fahmi Ami, terima kasih. And yeah, many others uh, channel as well. So today we we'll do the um, guide video for for the metro. Yeah, <laughs> how we want to build a metro. So last time we do this, we build airport. Remember in the last video so we build airport so i think that in near the airport they require this uh metro so metro actually is a train is a uh, is a a commuter or is a lrt <laughs> it's a electric electric train so yeah it's a it's a mass transit uh requirement in the city so i think that it's uh useful for people to have this kind of uh facilities remember if you have a uh, problem in traffic jam in your city so i think that you need to build this kind of facilities so remember when you have a lot of traffic first thing you need to know is the road and second thing is the facilities uh, mass transport facilities like buses like metro train and um, any other things <laughs> i also the train, 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 <laughs> buses, train, and ramp, ramp, ramp. <laughs> Sorry, but I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's start. Let's start doing this uh, guide video. All right. So when you want to do a metro, so first of all, you need to pick a location for this metro. So remember that when there is a, a lot of hotspot, means that there is a lot of traffic jam. So you can build these uh, facilities, uh, public transport facilities uh, near this uh, jam or a lot of traffic in this area, right? So, dalam bahasa Melayunya, apa yang anda perlu tahu adalah uh, bila ada masalah traffic ni kan, bila ada traffic jam ni so, perkara pertama yang anda perlu ingat adalah uh, daripada segi uh, 
jalan tu keadaan jalan tu kalau dia simpang tu rapat-rapat simpang rapat kan so, kalau simpang rapat dia akan menyebabkan traffic jam bila dah ada banyak orang besok simpang yang rapat tu akan menyebabkan traffic jam dan juga kelebaran jalan tu so kalau jalan kau kecil dia akan menyebabkan traffic jam lah so remember that you need to plan carefully so that's why uh, aku selalu ambil jalan yang besar kan jalan yang besar ni senang uh, kau tak payah nak bina jalan lagi so bila kau dah maju esok jalan ni dah sedia eh, sebab tu kalau kita tengok kat banyak pembangunan ni eh, tempat tiba-tiba kawasan kosong tiba-tiba ada jalan besar kan <laughs> cakap apa hal kau buat jalan besar ni orang tak ada kan uh, tapi dia untuk masa hadapan kan eh, so bila uh, orang dah banyak so traffic dah tinggi ya. so tak payahlah dia nak buat jalan lagi ya. so at least dah, jalan tu dah besar so, kawasan tu dah digejekkan okay, senang so kalau kau tak nak buat jalan besar pun boleh kau buat jalan kecil kan jalan kecil tapi kawasan kiri kanan tu kau kena demolish lah kalau ada bangunan ke apa ke kau nak buat jalan besar so kan kau kena demolish. so jalan penting so bila ada ni untuk kau kena plan betul-betul kalau kata tak nak berlakunya traffic jam lah so bila berlaku traffic jam tu dia tu yang ada masalah tu kereta mayat tak sampai <laughs> kereta mayat <laughs> kereta tak sampah tak sampai ha, so nanti ada, ada banyak masalah sampah ada banyak masalah apa nama tu uh, orang mati kan ha, so that's why aku kena careful dengan uh, jalan ni lah so kalau pun nak uh, kalau pun dah buat jalan besar uh, tapi still jam uh, tapi kau kena jarakkan simpang kau jangan rapat-rapat sangat simpang tu sebab nanti orang beratur kan traffic light tu So, dia akan jadi panjang jam tu kan. So, tu masalah juga tu. Lepas tu lagi satu, uh, kemudahan. Kemudahan public transport. Ha. So, kau kena buat bas, kau kena buat kereta api kan. Ha. So, nanti tenang orang nak ber, ber, apa, ber, bergerak kan sampai menggunakan kereta kan. Ha. So, kau kena buat teksi, kau boleh buat teksi kan. Macam-macam ni lah ha. public transport yang ada dekat dalam uh, city skyline. So, tapi yang untuk hari ni, uh, aku akan cover for apa nama tu, uh, metro eh? untuk metro <laughs> panjang intro dia <laughs> alright so ya yeah, mari kita buat apa nama tu, uh, metro di city skyline kan? so last time kita dah buat airport, so basically aku nak buat uh, metro ni berke, berdepan dengan airport ni lah, kan? senang so maksudnya orang nak pergi airport, macam sekarang kan orang nak pergi KLA, orang nak pergi Subang Dah ada kereta api kan, orang tak payah nak naik kereta pergi sana kan. So, aku akan sediakan pemudahan ni. So, basically bila aku buat first time buat airport ni, memang tak ada orang lah. Duduk kat sini kan. Bukan <laughs> tak ada orang duduk kat sini. Penggunaan airport tu kurang. Disebabkan apa nama tu main baru kan. Kalau kereta pun tak nak masuk situ. Jalan kosong. <laughs> aku ingat, oh ada masalah ni. Mungkin sebab jalan ni tak sibuk kan. Jalan sebelah sana eh. Sibuk kan. Tapi dia nanti dia akan ada kereta masuk kan. Ha, so aku tak tahu macam mana dia jarak dia jauh sikit lah. Dia kena pusing kan dia nak pergi ke airport ni kan. So that's why sebab aku, jarak aku punya simpang tu jauh-jauh kan. So kau boleh pilih ni uh, public transport. Dia ada macam-macam kat sini. Dia ada tram, dia ada metro kan. So aku nak buat metro kat sini. Metro ni kira dia ada banyak lah. Dia ada bawah tanah, dia ada atas tanah, dia ada Uh, tingkat satu kan <laughs> tinggi lah so kau boleh pilih dia so there are so many type of metro there is underground above uh, ground level and also the uh, higher level so which facilities that you think is suitable for you then you design but for me I really prefer underground because above ground there is a lot of uh, buildings already so I prefer underground so when you start Uh, constructing the uh, what the station you can do the uh, track uh, so as I say there is a elevated metro station underground metro station and it's a metro track so when you have done the metro track lepas dah buat metro station tu aku dah buat track dia so track ni quite confusing sikit track dia tu kan dulu senang kan dulu dia macam directly metro ni memang bawah, bawah tanah ha dia tak ada atas tanah <laughs> kan dia ada macam option tunnel tu kau boleh buat tu kan tapi sekarang dia dah ada update ni dia dah uh, apa simplify benda tu 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 yang confusing sikit kan dah, tu kau tadi kau boleh tengok contoh dia eh. macam mana rupanya atas tanah macam mana rupanya atas tak at, tingkat satu kan kan tu kau boleh tinggikan dia macam LRT kan Putra kan yang 
berapa masuk bawah tanah dia terus keluar kan <laughs> dia boleh buat macam tu tapi aku rasa kau fokus kepada bawah tanah lah so bila bawah tanah tu kau kena adjust kau nampak belakang tu ada raise and lower kan raise tu kau akan naikkan ke atas lower dia ke bawah kan by default dia akan ada atas tanah so that's why bila kau buat first time tu dia akan lalu kat bangunan tu tak boleh kan dia, dia nampak ada macam demolition demolition tu so maksudnya dia akan pecah kan bangunan tu so at the first time memang aku tak perasan benda ni so this is the updates lah so if you can see that at the beginning at the default but you they will be uh, when you choose this option they will build uh, in the ground level so if you want to build the track down you know the underground so you need to click the arrow down button raise or lower if you can see at the right side of the screen uh, you can see that you need to press it down button so when you do that you need to um, try to do a circle a circle track so because then you will link back to the beginning so that is very important kan so kau kena uh, buat track tu secara berpusing kan so apa yang aku cuba buat ni adalah aku cuba sambungkan kepada track yang lama kan tapi <laughs> bila tu nak sambung kepada track yang lama tu dia susah sikit kau nak adjust dia punya line dengan untuk buat dia punya uh, perjalanan kereta api tu sebab perjalanan kereta api tu kan line tu kau kena dia kena circle dia kena pusing balik ke tempat yang sama so, kalau tak tu macam ni ada susah kan so I would suggest to you do not uh, combine the new track with the existing track that you have built because it will become a, a, a great uh, it a quite it, it, it's not that you can't do that you can do that tapi but it's quite difficult for you to manage the line of the track so if you combine the new track and the, the added the with the existing track that you have built because yang existing track aku dah buat tu memang dah siap bulat cantik kan <laughs> dia boleh pergi stadium dia boleh pergi kawasan bandar kan memang ramai ah pakai uh, apa nama ni metro ni kan so this is quite difficult lah if you can see that I try to to, <laughs> to drag the train line to the new track but yeah it's it's difficult so when accident happen accident means that you accidentally delete the line so you need to draw it again <laughs> Kan, tiba-tiba kau nak ejah-ejah Tiba-tiba terdelete pula lah ni kan Macam <laughs> Aduh, nak, nak kena buat balik kan Aduh, susah kan So, I would suggest that you do not link this uh, With the old track You need, you build a new one It's much more easier for you to manage The new line of track And macam, apa uh, Kita ada macam-macam kan LRT kita ada, kita ada MRT kan Kita ada Putra tu, semua dah Uh, lain punya track kan dia tak dia tak cantum pun track-track tu kan dia still connect by the station kan so kita cuba buat macam tu kan ha. so kita aplikasikan ha. apa yang berlaku dekat luar <laughs> alright so basically inilah masalah yang aku hadapi so aku cuba nak linkkan track tu tapi tak tak menjadi so nanti dia akan ada aero patah balik ke depan kan so macam tak cantik lah Aku tak berapa minat lah macam ni And so aku rasa better aku uh, buat uh, line baru And as I was suggest to you So better you do a new track A new line of uh, track And not new line A new track that circle around uh, with this station So I think that you can do this to connect to the city Where there is a empty area So remember that jangan buat satu station je eh. <laughs> Jangan buat satu stesen lepas tu kau pusing pula semua dia punya jalan tu untuk satu stesen kan Aku kena buat banyak-banyak stesen kan Macam tadi aku buat tiga stesen baru So bukan saja dekat airport ni aku buat juga dekat Tasik Penyir Yang aku buat bandar satu lagi ada kosong kawasan kosong tu So aku akan connectkan airport tu dengan Tasik Penyir So dengan uh, kawasan bandar satu sana ada satu kan So total ada tiga, tiga stesen So let's do that dia di circle line so I will delete that the, the line that uh, that the line that I combined in earlier of this video 
So yeah, let's make a new line. Hmm. So you cannot do this uh, if there is a water. So kalau ada tasik ke, if there is an ocean or lake, so the line, underground line could not cross. Maybe you need to do the elevated fishing when you come across this uh, river or this uh, lake or this ocean. <laughs> I can see that it was a red line there so because it's crossed the lake area so I try not to, to cross it. So I will do a station here uh, at the Tasik Kenya region. Boom! And then I will do that in a, in a circle. Alright. Do another round. It is uh, it's easier for you to do a station first. You need to plan rather than you build a line to get the track. So like what I do now is difficult. Uh, when you want to do a station later on at that uh, selected area. So when you know already the area that you want to do this uh, station, you build the station first. It's much more easier. So now I want to do the station. So yeah, I cannot do that <laughs> because there is a line track there. There is a track there, so I need to delete the track. Mm. Then I can do the station. A bit. So it's quite difficult. So that's why I, I advise you to do the station first. Two or three or four station first. Then you cross. Or you can be combine the line with the station right <laughs> okay so yeah i finished deleting the track now i will build the uh, station build the station here mm, at tasik kenya wow <laughs> tasik kenya ada ada kereta api ada lrt mrt yeah <laughs> so uh, we'll do another track here to, to do a circle. So I try to find the best place for this. So that's why it's quite difficult because all the area will be packed with building population. So I don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make it. So that's why we me lama lah aku nak <laughs> aku nak kena betul-betul design kau bila kau bandar kau dah jadi macam ni kan dia susah sikit lah kalau macam bandar kau kosong lagi kan tak ada pula kan dia punya tu kan <laughs> yang ada pas station <laughs> eh, tak ada function ni tak terbuka lagi yang dia depends on the population kan with this features ni eh. so this features will open when you have a certain population and eh. so if your population increase then you have this kind of public transport uh, option and so I believe that uh, most of my option is already open there's a left of you okay that I, I cannot uh, open yet because my population is not 80,000 so right now you can see my population only 72,000 so you need to hit 80,000 if you want to be an international airport what I build now is a normal airport and so nanti ada international airport lagi besar and so now we try to park the station near these uh, crowded cities. It's, it's not a uh, crowded cities. Actually, it's uh, near the graveyard. Ada dua kubu at situ kan? So yeah, I already built that. Yeah. Okay, so good luck for those who try to ride the straighten station to airport. You will be, you will be, you will be drive through, uh, you will be right through the graveyard. <laughs> there is a two graveyard here. Okay. Now we try to make a circle uh, of this uh, station, <laughs> of this line of track, not station. The station is straight but you can you cannot bend the only thing that you can bend is this one. it is quite tricky here uh, because I want to look nice and curvy curvy but 
you can't do that. <laughs> there will be these uh, sharp edges, so it's okay. Since you cannot do that, mm, what else you can do? <laughs> Just follow the system because you are not the one who making this game, so it's okay. So I need to connect this uh, station as well. Uh -huh. Delete this track. Destroy it. The burbo. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to select things in this uh, city skyline game using the PlayStation. So I think that um, this game is more suitable if you want to play it on PCs compared to if you want to play it on PlayStation. And the graphic as well is very good in PCs rather than in PlayStation because PlayStation have limited capabilities in processing the graphic compared to PC. So I think that if you want a good experience in playing these uh, City Skylines, you better play it on PC. Not low-end PC but high-end PC. <laughs> if you have a low-end PC, so might as well you buy, play it on PlayStation 4. <laughs> Okay, so now it's already in a circle line. So what I want to do is to build a, a line. So if you do not build this line of direction of train, so you this station will be useless. So you need to draw metro line by selecting the uh, line option here. You can have this line option near the the facilities that you build, all of the facilities have this line. For example, like bus, taxis, tram, and train, even ships also have this line. So you need to build this line in order for the train to move. So if not, this will be redundant. So it, uh, nobody will try, nobody will ride this, this metro train. <laughs> It will be useless of money and you will spend a lot of money maintaining, maintaining it. So, yeah. So, when you connect the circle line, people will be happy because the train will be start operation soon. <laughs> so, all people around the area, the station will be happy of these facilities that you, you build, right? Uh, you build for them. So, they will not have to use a car anymore they can use this uh, station to move uh, around they can use the station and also the train to move around the cities to go to the airport and so on yeah congratulations bro. so that's about it <laughs> that's about the tutorial so yeah remember so when you want to build a tram or train or buses or taxis the most important thing is the line you need to define the line so better make it in circle the taxis and buses is much easier compared to train because train you need to do it in circle and within the track that you build so yeah i will show you the buses and taxis in later video or tram tram i will do the tram station in the next video um, for now i will do this uh, for metro so i think it's uh, you, you need to build this in your cities to, to avoid the jam and or to to this to solve the the traffic problem in your city. So right now I move the airport away back. So you can see uh, there is a lot of happy places and non happy places. <laughs> so the happy places is people who live near the airport because of the sound distraction. So people who live far from the airport will be. Uh, not happy uh, because the facilities have moved so far away from them so but it's okay um i will make them happy later on <laughs> with this uh, uh metro station right so when you move the airport so you need to as well move the metro station far away back so when you move the station all your configuration uh, previously will be uh, will require you to reconfigure again <laughs> so kena buat balik lah kan jalan apa semua kan tu tu eci sikit lah kan aku malas tu <laughs> dah buat siap-siap kan nak kena 
buat balik pula kan aduh so dekat sini ada air pula hmm, dah aku tak boleh buat dia cantik so macam ni kan hmm, dia kena macam sharp sikit so aku kena potong lain ni yang aku dah buat dulu kan adjust sikit lah Aku boleh juga buat yang dia keluar kan atas tu Tapi aku malas lah aku nak buat dia bawah tanah atas tak Cantik kan eh? bawah tanah dia kemas lah nampak sikit kan So atas tanah ni kau boleh pakai benda-benda lain kan Tapi kalau atas laut tu kau nak buat apa pun kan atas air tu lah atas tasik <laughs> So yeah Better if you can do that uh, Apa nama tu Above the water eh, You make the elevated Uh, track so I did I did realize at this time so yeah that's why I did I delete this station <laughs> I will do this adjustment later on so maybe I will try to do the elevated track uh, above the water I will move the metro station near to the airport now I move it back a little bit back a little bit far away from the uh, airport So it's not very convenient for the people and they have to walk uh, a bit to the airport so yeah because if you can see here i cannot connect the line that i made uh, to this station because of that water uh, area so that's why i moved the station a bit uh, far off from the airport sebab tu aku pindahkan station ni Station metro ni jauh sikit daripada airport supaya Aku boleh sambung line tu kan, line uh, track Haa Sama sikit, sama sikit Boom Tak cantik kan, nampak dia macam kasar sikit Macam aku delete lah Dia macam tak <laughs> Age tu, aku tak boleh lah Aku mesti nak nampak kemas <laughs> Aku jenis macam tu Okay Boom tapi sampai aku pun bukan kemas sangat Orang macam kau tengok kat belakang aku dengan sepah-sepah buku <laughs> keluar <laughs> kita lelaki bro kita lelaki ya bini aku bising <laughs> sepah eh so kena kemas kan <coughs> jangan 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 semak sangat sedahlah kan sikit-sikit tak apa kan <laughs> kalau semak sangat aku terima sangat Okay, so sekarang aku cuba memperkemaskan line track ni uh, The track for the metro, I try to To make adjustment to the track to look more nicer uh, And then I need to do the line So yeah, after you adjust the move, the track, the station You need to reconnect again the line station <sighs> <laughs> So you can see the arrow is uh, double arrow so means the within the same line the track the, the train is moving up and down and so yeah it's not very efficient and so I think that if you have this kind of situation just delete the line and build a build new line <laughs> that are not in this uh, the same two-way direction. It's okay, but I think that uh, if you want to make it look nicer and the train runs smoothly, so I think you better delete uh, this kind of uh, two-way track, two-way line within the same track. Yay! So people are happy I've connected a new line there. <laughs> so I need to delete this green line. Yeah, just click the square button. Ba -bum. Are you sure you want? Yes. Just delete it because I have already a new pink line. So you need to really carefully look into the color of the line. So there is many many colors of line. Some red, some blue, some yellow, some green, some purple. Right? Some if purple is quite difficult to see. So you need to be careful on that. Because uh, if not, you'll be selecting the wrong line and you will delete the wrong <laughs> So that will be uh, difficult for you to, to manage it, right? Okay, so now I try to build the power station, the 
the station need power lah. <laughs> if not, it will be dark. It will be like a cave. So yeah, you can link this power line with the airport power line. So yeah, settle. So there is a non-connected route there. So I need to delete this one. This is quite tricky because it's uh, above different different layer. So sometimes you select uh, different line, but you delete different line. <laughs> see, can see, can see that I delete the pink uh, line there. So yeah, ah, it's 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 quite yeah, it's quite tedious. So <laughs> sad juga lah, eh, main game ni. Eh. This, but the punya tu tak berapa efficient sikit. Kalau pakai mouse, arrow mouse mungkin senang lah. Tu boleh pilih dia kan. Ha, senang sikit. Aku nak pilih yang mana. Turi. Ya. Oh, hmm. We need to draw a new line. Because we have deleted. Wrongly deleted line. There. So don't worry if you click the first dot. There is uh, unconnected line. Yeah, basically you you are not connected so you need to connect it between this station so don't worry about that uh, symbol after you connect all of the station it will be disappeared yes <laughs> you just hear the screaming of the crowd because you are successfully connecting the line <laughs> the crowd will cheer for you you see the, city, the citizen in the city skyline will cheer for you <laughs> that, that's a good sign <laughs> okay so remember to press the square button if you want to delete that line and yes I think that's about it dah habis <laughs> alright so everything is working well the metro is working well the airport is working well only the road that you see that there is a lot of traffic there so maybe i will try to solve these traffic issues to build up plaza toll <laughs> collect money from them <laughs> okay so i think that's it for today's video thumbs up for you and high five bro so thank you for watching and yeah if you need a more uh guide on sim cities or any other video games just type in the comment below so i will try to do it for you and hopefully this video is very useful and uh hope you like this video so if you like this video please drop a comment drop a like and share if you can right okay see you in the next video and yeah bye bye you are and you are you you are awesome bro you are very good <laughs> for, for watching this video until at the end of this uh 27 minutes that's why i make this kind of uh, thumbs up and awesome to you because you watch until this this end <laughs> all right congratulations congratulations to you because you finally made it to the end of this video okay uh yes See you again in the next video. Stay safe, stay home, and yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>